19 subcommittee of cabinet met yesterday till very late and we decided on the following measures effective february september 3 until September 17, 2021. Curfew hours. The existing no movement days will be continued for another two weeks. Therefore, we will be seeing six more no movement days. And these would be Sunday, September the 5th, Monday, September the 6th, Tuesday, September the 7th, Sunday, September the 12th, Monday, September 13th, and Tuesday, September 14th. The normal curfew hours will be 7 p.m. until 5 a.m. the following morning on Wednesdays to Fridays during this period and 6 p.m. on Saturdays. To allow persons to prepare for the three consecutive no movement days, on Friday, September 3, uh, on, uh, on Friday, September 3, and on Friday, September 10, 2021, workplaces, businesses will be required to close at midday. Hey, peeps, it's your girl, Blessed Diva, Diva, and welcome back to the Blessed Diva, Diva channel. And IGL is here to speak now to say that the government's mismanagement is the reason why the country is in this debacle with a lack of oxygen. As I suspected, told you that we're under no management. Anyway, people, IGL Limited yesterday revealed that the country's health authorities for months neglected to provide forecast of the island's need for medical oxygen despite repeated requests from the company. The stunning revelation has shed light on one of the reasons for the oxygen shortage at the height of the novel Rona pandemic third wave that has increased deaths and hospitalizations. According to IGL Managing Director Peter Graham, even without a response to repeated request for forecast of requirements for medical oxygen, the company invested millions of Jamaican dollars in the upscaling of facilities slash storage and distribution capacity. Hmm. The company also procured hundreds of additional oxygen cylinders deployed across the island while collaborating with the medical authorities to ensure the best possible care for all patients requiring medical oxygen, including Rona patients. This resulted in effective and efficient managing of medical oxygen over several months, he added. Last weekend, news emerged that oxygen supplies had fallen critically low, leaving hospitals struggling to care for critically ill Rona patients, some of whom have been placed in surgical wards and intensive care units due to the increasing number of cases across the country. On Saturday, Graham revealed that the island was scheduled to receive four shipments of oxygen this week, starting early Monday morning. The first shipment arrived about 1 a.m. from Trinidad, and according to Graham, a second shipment was expected from the USA this evening. The third and fourth shipments were scheduled to arrive from Costa Rica on Tuesday, easing the shortage for at least two weeks. Yesterday, Graham said IGL was doing all it could to ensure supplies of oxygen despite current contracts not being in place except with one of the regional health authorities, which requested and was granted a six-month extension. The company also said that despite numerous efforts for years prior to the onset of the pandemic, it was not successful in having other contracts put in place. <laughs> Graham said that in 2018, IGL invested more than US $10 million in a local oxygen production plant, which has provided a critical supply source during the Rona pandemic. As demand increased in many countries, exports of the product to other countries, including Jamaica, were reduced and or prohibited. Some companies have even declared force majeure and have stopped shipping. And this has caused a disruption in imports from these sources.
Many of IGL's traditional suppliers are now dealing with their own government's prohibitions on export, Graham explained. He said due to the pandemic, the demand for medical oxygen rose to unprecedented levels in recent weeks, resulting in IGL's workers having to produce and deliver oxygen 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Right now, we are supplying up to three and four times the normal requirement with a combination of local production and imported product, Graham said. He said that notwithstanding the circumstances, IGL has been able to forge new relationships with, with alternative sources, leveraging the company's broad international network and shipment of medical oxygen have already begun to arrive. However, as positive cases continue to rise in Jamaica, there will be need for even more supplies, and here is where the government and its external relationships are now critical, Graham said. These relationships have now proven important in allowing the National Health Fund to import vaccines and may also be helpful with respect to sourcing much needed medical oxygen for Rona rates continue to rise. He said that as a responsible partner, IGL is willing to work with the government in whatever way possible as it has always done in service to the nation for over 60 years. People there you have it and Iron. again i have to play Jesus, tired. my god I am shy. then somebody is going to tell me that this country is being managed by who you heard what the igl director head said the government is the cause of what we are facing right now tough tongue was busy exercising his tough tongue and with market me allegedly instead of dealing and exercising his duties to his portfolio minister of health the minister of health needs to be hauled over the coals for this regardless of what people want to talk about oh yes i don't want to go out and party and open the place and whatever everybody except the government appeared to have been planning now regardless of him opening the country or not he said yesterday in his press briefing and a question was asked by the gleaner which was a very good question since you said you were preparing for this third wave what measures did you put into place again this proves that he put no measures into place the government is not handling the affairs of the country with the greatest or utmost level of importance we see consistently in situations for example the nurse situation yesterday the doctor had to come out and said it's because of a lack of oxygen that's why she passed so why is it the government is lying and he called out the government but a lot of jlp green face people clarks wearing stupidity people cannot see that andrew holness is not managing the country's affairs properly if he's managing his house properly good for him if he's managing something else we can't see that you have participated in and benefited from i can't see and many people who subscribe to my channel cannot see this is why they're constantly in the comment section speaking about their disgust and outrage for this prime minister he is not managing the affairs of the country with you planning for a third wave the first thing for a third wave is making sure that our doctors they have their n95 mask enough equipment other than that also to do their jobs and protect themselves just like the senior doctor said yesterday they're putting their lives on the line and they're putting the lives of their family on the line and as the man says the mercy of god make him steer in the work and i can tell you people at the mercy of god i keep enough other doctors who have not been vocal because only god can really sustain them with all the people you see lying down on the floors going all over the islands and you see all the pictures is only the mercy of god keeping these people why would the government of jamaica not plan for oxygen he is planning a six billion dollar parliament even in the pandemic and knowing very well that request had come in from IGL for them to plan and forecast 
to put in enough oxygen but still he didn't do that and then somebody's going to sit and tell me that andrew wholeness is running this country properly andrew wholeness is very reactive the people complain about lockdown he opens up the people complain about the spread he locks down he is a reactive leader and in a situation like this you cannot be reactive you have to have a stepped plant approach where you can put it in place and regardless of the tides that come you can shut down the noise all over the place and say this is it this is it this is it versus being a reactive government that is what is crippling the country and that is what is going to take us continually to these conversations and for people continually exposing the government anyway people tell me your thoughts on down below in the comment section about what the head of igl has said and as per usual we'll chop it up in the comment section if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please hit the notification bell and if you've not yet smashed the like button on this video smash the like button and send us out i'm out